Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio, not Scorpio, I'm sorry, we're doing Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius for your October 2022. Uh, what are your blocks and challenges, okay? So we're going to take a look at what that is, um, and then we'll finish off the read to see what the uh, possible outcome advice are, what you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. Um, so so uh, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also, a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watch, flip, twisted, or reverse. Uh, this is more so for the Sagittarians that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, feel free, free to do so, okay? Uh, what do we have here for Sagittarius? What are Sagittarius's blocks and challenges? Current blocks and challenges for Sagittarius for October 2022. What are some of the current blocks and challenges that Sagittarius is currently facing for October 2022? All right, we have the Six of Wands here and the Two of Swords. You know, when I, as soon as this flew out, you know, I feel like Summer here is really just stuck and wrapped in your ego here. Okay, with the two of swords, this could be an indication that someone here it has rose-colored glasses on. Someone here is not seeing it. Even though if people are pointing it out, someone here is just not seeing it. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. We have the three of swords. You know, what happened here is I, I feel like one of the, the blocks and challenges that's creating this like ego is that you've gone through a painful experience here when it comes to your romantic relationship it doesn't have to be romantic it could be with a friend or a family like that a friend or family member um you know i feel like you've gone through a painful experience here with, with regarding a relationship and i feel like you know someone here is pretending everything is okay when it's not because i feel like when it comes to this um someone here is confused Someone here is confused and lost. We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Two of Wands here. So what's happening here is that Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Page of Swords, Gemini energy with the Lovers. You know, what's happening here is that Sagittarius, I feel like you're stuck. I feel like you're trying to search for a way out, okay? And I feel like you're turning to, you know, like Instagram memes about, you know, healing and stuff like that for, for guidance. Um, I mean, just keep in mind, even though those resources are great to look at and read, um, to learn from, um, that is not a therapist. Yeah, you actually have to do the actual work to move those energies, to heal from uh, your, you know, your pain and your trauma and stuff like that. Um, a little meme is not going to do that for you. Even though it could be helpful, it's not going to do that for you, okay? Six of Wands. We have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Wands. So this is your process here. I feel like you're, you're, I feel like you're in this type of energy because this is part of your healing process. But I do feel like eventually those rose colored glasses are going to come off. The emotions are going to start bubbling up because you know you can't hold it in forever. Okay, the Lovers. Why is the Lovers here? We have the Ten of Swords. Wow, Three of Swords here. And the devil it seems like there was a situation where there was a betrayal, could have been a third party situation. Someone here might have cheated on you. And I feel like this was a very painful experience. And, you know, I feel like there's an energy of, you know, right now pretending that everything is okay when it's not. The devil, Capricorn energy here, Page of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Sun. I feel like you're looking for a new beginning here. But at the same time, you know, I do feel like you're trying to overcome the sadness that you're dealing with here. And I feel like you will because, you know, I feel like, you know, all this that's coming up, it is in your, in your awareness here. 
So, you know, even though you're stuck in this sort of like energy, you know, it's a part of your process. It's a part of your process here. Leo energy with the sun. What else do we have here for um, Sagittarius? Outcome and advice for Sagittarius regarding their blocks and challenges. How can Sagittarius overcome it, transcend it, work with it for October 2022? We have the Three of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to move on from this or that you're going to start looking towards the future here. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like you're going to face what you've been avoiding here too. All right. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. We have the uh, Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups in the reverse. This could be also an indication what's important to you right now for mental health is basically avoid people that are not serving a purpose in your life or that these people are not a positive influence because I feel like with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups in the reverse, there are people that's out to get you here. There are people that's trying to take advantage of you here. So it's really important to have right now healthy relationships with people and basically having a healthy relationship with yourself. Eight of Swords in the tower here. Very Scorpio energy. Okay. You know, I do feel like the universe is about to wake you up. Yeah, this energy that you've been stuck in. Um, you know, I do feel like this this tarot moment here could be extremely life changing for you. You have the Seven of Wands and the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Wow. I mean, there is an energy of definitely moving forward here. There's an energy of standing up for yourself, defending yourself here, having strong boundaries here with people. You know, that Lovers and the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups could be, like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be friends that have hurt you. It could be family that has hurt you. Seven of Swords. You have the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like, you know, what you're doing here is I feel like you're choosing to walk away, okay? You're choosing to walk away from people and things that are no longer serving you here, okay? I feel like, you know, with the with the tower here, there's going to be sort of like a bam, you know? Things are going to quickly change here for you, all right? Eight of Swords. Could be stuck in your head here, too, with the Hermit Virgo energy, the tower, and the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, it seems like the universe has a really big gift here for you, okay? And this gift that the universe is providing you or that this gift that the universe is showing you here uh, is basically change. Yeah, lessons being learned here, okay? Karmic cycles ending here, okay? Lesson I think I already said that. Lessons being learned. So I feel like you're learning a huge lesson here, okay? I feel like this is gonna, gonna this change is gonna allow you to go on that soul journey, that soul searching uh, that you've been looking for, or that you're you, perhaps you're seeking a higher purpose here for yourself. So I feel like there's a energy of becoming unstuck, okay? So uh, you know, like I said, I feel like the universe is about to gift you with something here, and I feel like you're gonna take it, okay? So uh, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.